What's going on, Foodie Fam? It's your main man, Dame Drops, back with another week of best and the worst restaurants in my state. I wanted to expand it beyond just in my city. I, let's do in my state. That way I could end up driving to more locations that are like further out and the taste of the locals over there is really pronounced a whole lot different than my own palate. So I wanted to make sure I can make that happen. So let's slide over to Yelp and let's see who is serving up what in the Caribbean dish Jamaican food game as the best in my state. <laughs> Ooh. All right, y'all, so as you see right up over here, we have Scott's Jamaican Bakery. I already did the search for the joint for you guys, bang, bang. All right, they got a heavy like four and a half, almost a five-star rating. I'm pretty sure there's probably like one or two in there. The individuals are just upset, bad day, whatever the case may have been, which would stop that from being a five-piece. Now, let's get into this thing. All right, so the spot is on 1344 Albany Ave, Hartford, Connecticut. If I'm not mistaken, Scott's Jamaican Bakery actually has three locations. It's a mom and pop, but all three locations are right in Hartford, Connecticut. Oh, I, I love these type of reviews where individuals are in depth. It's not like one or two, like y'all know I like that. As an officer at one of our local airports, I have done many bag checks. My favorite ones, however, are the ones where I get a sniff of Scott's bread. I know that smell so well that before I even open the bag based on what I'm seeing on the screen and my experience, I ask the passenger if they've had Scott's bread. And suddenly, you hear hysterical laughter in the checkpoint. So I made it a point to stop into the bakery and see if it is as great as it smells. I didn't come in here like a typical white girl with a finger pointing to one item. Yo, shout out to my Caucasians, you know what I'm saying? What up, though? <laughs> Yo, but I came in and spoke to every person in line asking questions on what to order and who likes what. We, the customers, were all chatting. One lady told me the milk bread is their staple. Another guy in line said to get their beef or chicken patty, but you must put it inside the bread to eat it. And that's what he said. Woman behind me said, get rum cake and carrot juice, but I also love cinnamon bun. I bought all of those things for just 20 bucks. I left the bakery so happy because everybody was so welcoming and kind. As soon as I got into my car, I placed my patty inside the bread and I took a bite. I found myself in heaven, Scott's heaven that is, so well seasoned with just the right amount of spice and not dry like I thought it was going to be. On my way home, I stopped at Best Buy in Avon to buy a new TV and told the man helping me while he was there loading my TV and I took my milk bread and asked him to take a good sized piece. He said I never broke bread with a customer. Oh, I like that. I like that play on words. See, there is always a first. I am on my way home and I cannot wait to cut into the milk and cinnamon bread. In my head, I'm already planning my next visit as I need more patties in my life. You guys have some great goods. I love that review. It's not just how it's good. Oh, I just had fun. I went there. It was great. No, it is in depth. My man worked in the airport and knew the scent of Scott's bread. He knew the scent, y'all. Had to ask the customer, what up, though? Customer was like, go to Scott's Jamaican Bakery. This place, amazing patties, cocoa bread, and cocoa bites that cannot be beat. Don't be intimidated by the neighborhood. They have their own parking lot, so you don't have to wander around looking for parking. I've been enjoying their parties for 30 years. I don't know if that was parties or patties. Maybe she meant patties. I've been enjoying the patties for 30 years, and they just keep getting better. Now, I told you guys before in another video, never ever judge a restaurant based on its location. The location might be a little suspect, might be a little questionable, but sometimes that's where you get the best food, y'all. You see it here for yourself. You read it, baby, stop it. Let's get another one. I love it here. I've been eating here for almost 20 years. Started when I was at Yukon Law. Whenever we pass by, I have to stop in. I used to get my Jamaican fix a lot more when I worked in Bloomfield and Hartford and definitely miss it. Scott's is one of my favorites. I love the beef patties, cocoa bread, and the broccoli and cheese turnovers. I buy them all and take a bite of each before even leaving the parking lot. Before getting them out the parking lot. Bong, 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 bong. 
Boom! Man, I'm craving some beef patties just right in this review. This place serves amazing, authentic Jamaican food, period. Oxtail is amazing and great prices. My go-to when I'm in Hartford. Stop playing, man. Oxtails, cocoa bread, cocoa bite. I'm hearing about it, I need a beer about it. Uh, no longer a hole in the wall. They have really good chicken patties and cocoa bread. Came across friendly staff, customers, and really nice artwork on the wall outside, baby. Look, y'all, look, look, right here. Bung, five, bung, five, bung, five. If you wanna read it, just go to Yelp and go read it. Stop playing with me. Now I want all the cocoa bread. I want all the cocoa bites. I want all the breads, all the baked goods. I want everything on the menu. But we can't order everything. We're gonna go to both locations. We're gonna get the food from the bakery. We're gonna get the food from the bakery slash we serve up restaurant dishes. We're gonna get it. This is the top rated Jamaican spot in my state, Scott's Bakery. Let's go. Right there, look at it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that thing. Ooh, wait till you see it. Oh my goodness. Ooh, ooh, why, ooh, why are you so hot, boo? Why are you so hot? Why? Why are you that way? I just want to get both of you. I, I want both of you. I do. I do. I do. I don't want to make a mess of myself. Oh my goodness. Can we, get a, can we get a bench press? Can we? If that bread didn't have the bench press that it does, I would have to say this bakery was not on time. But please, please pay attention to that soft bench press. You got you. You have to open this up right here at the lip. Ooh. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and put the beef patty inside there. Come on, little beef patty. Come on, little beef patty, you know what you're here for. Our cocoa bread with the beef patty. Do I have it wrong? Am I supposed to turn it around? I'm assuming that first bite needs to have that beef game right there, right there. Oh, this is everything, let's go in. Tell me everything I've always wanted to hear, please. Cocoa bread has a nice little bite to it, I mean, Oh my goodness, I don't know how they make the cocoa bread here. I wish I did. This is the type of bread that I need at my house all the time. It would be so bad for me, it really would. You're not even supposed to eat that much bread and all I would do is eat cocoa bread for how soft that bite is. It, it looked wild packed, it really did, it looked wild packed. So like I said, there's a thin layer of beef. You're going through an extreme thicker layer on the exterior of, of the patty itself, plus the bread. And I know for a lot of my meat lovers out there, you are like, damn, it just needs more beef. And because of those flavors, I have to agree, because of the flavors of the beef, I would so much want their particular beef patty to be packed, packed with more beef, but it's good. It's good as spiciness. I, I, I'd, give it a, I'd give it a solid three and a half. I really would. And, and thinking, I, I might even go four, because that cocoa bread, come here. I just need to break that thing off one time. Come here. Mmm, cocoa bread so good. Let's, let's try this little cocoa bite. I'm gonna rock with y'all one time. Now the cocoa bite is cocoa bread, hot dog, and cheese on the inside. That cocoa bite hit me and said, get something to drink. Ooh, ah, oh, ah, oh. ooh. The cocoa bread is thick. So when you do it, when you go straight from a beef patty, right over to the cocoa bite, and you didn't drink none, no, to help get it down, cause that's, a, that's thick, that's a lot, a lot of bread action. A lot of patty action. A lot of dough action. 
Mmm. It gets, it gets stuck. You need some water or something. You gotta get that down, baby. Soft cocoa bread, I love that. Hot dog. I like my hot dogs to have that exterior crazy snap on the skin. Hot dogs, decent in flavor. Cheese is melted up, a little bit of utter butter. You're getting more cocoa bread than anything. I'm about a solid three out of five on this cocoa bar. All right, guys, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna move on from the bakery over to their Main Street restaurant location because I definitely wanna grab myself at least one or two dishes before I give you my final breakdown. Let's go. Pulling up, Scott's Bakery's second location over here. Destination. Let's check it out, see what it's all about. All right, y'all, so I'm at the second location, which this is the spot where you come to get the full portion of the game. You still got the baked goods that you can get from the flagship location over there at Albany Avenue, but over here at Main Street, you get some of the foods like the, the curry goat, curry chicken, jerk chicken. Mm. All right. Whew. Okay, let's turn that thing around and voila. Oh, she's steamy. She's steamy. Back up off her, Dave. Back up off her. Oh. Oh. Who's hungry? Ladies and gentlemen, who is hungry? All right, get a wild stab. Let's get a... Oh. Oh, why are you so tender? Oh. Oh, you a tender little boo thing, aren't you? And you steaming. I see you, baby. Nothing left to it but to do it. Oh, my God. The flavor. That's what the flavor do. Reminds me, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that never had curry goat before oh takes me back to my childhood my moms used to whip up the beef stew in the winter time and how tender that beef was how it would break apart on my fork I'd take a bite flavor burst oh this one is even bigger than the last stop it go ahead and get a nibble get a, li get a little bit for yourself I'm not stingy with it I'm never stingy with it. This is my first time in life having curry goat. Scott's Jamaican Bakery. You helped me realize that I've been missing out on life for a long time. And that is so good. A little bit of spice. Not too much chew. Extremely tender. Extremely flavorful. And the best way I can describe it is like my beef or my beef stew as a kid. What goes in curry goat? Can my Caribbean peoples please hit me in the comment section below and let your boy know what y'all be seasoned with curry goat make curry go so good like that. Stop it. Tell me now. Let me get up over here into this jerk chicken. Because if jerk chicken is hitting on all cylinders like curry goat is hitting on all cylinders, Houston, we have a problem. Who's ready for me to drop the top on the convertible box? Hit this video with a thumbs up right now. We about to go in. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 stop it, you steamy. Stop it, you steamy, boo. Oh, these are the jerk wings. These are the jerk wings, y'all. I, I see the leg right here, but look at the sear on that wing. It ain't nothing, but it's been laced with flavor. That's a flavor profile right there for y'all face one time. Oh, my goodness. I already know what's going to happen when I take that first bite. A little bit of rice below. But y'all know what I'm here for. I'm here for the jerk chicken wing. Pick me up before you go, go. Don't do this in slow-mo. Wake me up before you go, go. Take dance in the night. Oh, my goodness. With a little bit of rice on there. It even picked up the rice. Come on. Come with it. Get a little nibble of this jerk wing. 
Get a nibble of this jerk wing before I get busy. No, it is not burnt. I know some of y'all looking at it. Nah, baby. Nah, that's that jerk action. That's that jerk. Now, you better hit it. Because you know your whole face about to explode. I already know I'm in trouble. Come here. I want to be in, I, I, I want to be in trouble. Why? Oh my God, mm, deep smokiness on that. A little more spicier. A little more spicier than my curry goat. Oh, that's that. that is love. That is love on a bone. That ain't even chicken no more. That is love on a bone. Mm. Mm. And I still managed to get some out myself. I don't even care. Mm. Mm. The meaty, oh my God, that was good. I'm getting the slow burn going down my whole chest piece. So she got umph on it. She got umph and kick. She got roundhouse kick on her per bite. Back of the throat, tingle mingle. That's what that jerk seasoning doing. Back of the throat, throat. <coughs> I don't even mind. I don't even. This is right. Oh, that is so good. Curry goat and the jerk chicken. They both getting a five all day banger from your boy. Oh, come here. Come here before you make a mess. Come here, little flavor pocket. Yeah, get over here. Say less, Scott's Jamaican Bakery. Say less. Ladies and gentlemen, Scott's Jamaican Bakery has just scored a perfect, well, the second location. The second, lo the second location has gone beyond the spectrum of just a five all day banger. This sealed the deal. And again, the flavor profile, the tenderness, the love, the care, the precision that went into preparing our meals here at Scott's Jamaican Bakery, Main Street, Hartford, Connecticut. I caught the warmth in my soul. It subsided with quickness and then filled my soul. It was plentiful bites. Immaculate is the word that comes to mind when I have to describe the bite. The bites, the flavors, and the consistency. The consistency that went in with the food here, man. Oh, hands down. Hey, bow, bow, bow. But let me know some of the favorite Jamaican foods, man, right in the comment section below. Also, I tell you guys this every video, and every video I'm gonna keep saying it. Please, please, please plug your favorite Jamaican restaurants where you live. Because I love traveling. And I love going to spots that Foodie Fam recommends versus me just running up on a spot that I don't know too much about. Like, if I'm coming to your neck of the woods, I need to know where you go where they serve up that fire food. So I'm giving you the best and the worst Jamaican restaurants out here in the state of Connecticut. But I don't live where you live, baby. So hit me in the comment section below and let me know your favorite spots, your favorite Jamaican restaurants where you live. All right? It's your main man, Dame Drops, and you know I'm going to see you next video. You better get ready, because it's about to get crazy. Ba boop boop. Drops. Super Fish.